Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro and today I'll be showing you how to download the Dark Swarm data pack on your server. The Dark Swarm data pack adds a random horror night event. When it occurs, instead of a usual vanilla Minecraft night, you'll find yourself swarmed by monsters lurking in the dark. Darkness monsters are beings that are immune to normal attacks. They can only be killed by light, fire, or being attacked with light and fire items such as torches. These monsters are super fast, so there's no point in outrunning them. It's best to stay in lit places for safety. Finally, you have one more thing to worry about, and that is the boss of this data pack. The boss is called Consuming Darkness and it's spawned by meddling with darkness mobs for too long. When this entity is close to you, you'll definitely know it as it pulls in and devours all nearby light sources. So make sure to be prepared as you don't want to end up dead meat. By default, this night event occurs roughly every 5-9 to nine nights. However, if you want to change this, you can using the following command. This command also allows you to disable some other data pack features, such as whether you want the boss to spawn or if you want darkness mobs to attack passive mobs. If you're looking for any other data pack commands you can simply type in function dark swarm and you'll see different options. Well that's the main overview of this data pack's features, however the creator is continuously working on it so you'll see more additions being added in the future. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. When you're there, simply scroll down until you see the download data pack button. When you click that button, it'll redirect you to a page that looks like this. Simply wait until you see the download button is unlocked and click it. That should instantly begin the download. Once the zip is downloaded, we recommend you move it to a place where you can easily access, for example, your desktop. For this step, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the data pack version to ensure no complications. In this case, the server version should be set to 1.19.2. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Firstly, I'll be showing you how to upload the data pack onto a world you've already created. This data pack doesn't require you to make a new world, but if you're interested in that, I'll be showing you how to create a brand new world with the data pack enabled after. Firstly, we're going to do is head to the files tab. Click on the world folder and then the data packs folder. Here's where you're going to drag the data pack zip you downloaded at the beginning of the video. And that's it, the data pack is uploaded onto your world. However, if you're interested in creating a brand new world with the data pack enabled, you're going to want to head to the worlds tab. Here's where you're going to create a brand new world. You can set your world name and adjust world settings as usual. Just make sure the world name doesn't have spaces or special characters. However, below you'll also see a button labeled upload data packs. Simply click the select files button and then navigate to the area you save the data pack zip to. Once you found it, press open and then create world. It'll take a second for the files to upload, but when that's done, you should go into the files tab. Double click on your world folder and then go into the data packs folder. If you see the data pack zip inside, it means you followed these steps correctly. Now, all that's left to do is head to the dashboard and copy the hostname of your server. Afterwards, quickly launch your Minecraft application and when it's open, head to the multiplayer section. Click add server and in the server address section, paste the hostname. When you join the server, you'll now be able to experience the Dark Swamp data pack for yourself. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.